Aquí estamos nosotros los boricuas, te vamos a dar la tiza cita porque tú no quieres que yo te dé la mamita. Say my niggas don't talk, we just make them guns bark and blow your chest away. Yo, you better get back, get back, back, you better get back, get back. Star TV number one, yo. TV. I'm your hostess Peach and tonight we have the most talked about dance hall celebrity in the United States, also in, in, over in Jamaica, Mr. Outstanding Neil Pearl. But tonight I'm going to be here doing the show by myself because my co-host, Boxer Hype, is over in the Bronx at Louisville's Dance where he will be interviewing Lenny from Amplex Sound out of Spanish Town, Jamaica. So... We're gonna miss him, but we'll have him here next week. He's out there doing what he's supposed to do. Work. Production and come out with the, the new year. So, do remember, you see, next year, a different thing to do. It's all about music. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Everything is happening. We're going to take it over. We're going to take it over because you don't know. Apart, we just party. We just national party. There's a frostbite. I don't know. There's a lot of people remember. You just see the Spanish on crew. Amplex Spanish and Style Spanish. TV for the first thing. Style TV for the last thing. There's no Spanish. style. So, we're back here to the most talked about man. Mr. Outstanding, the changes you've seen in the dances over the years. You said you came on the dance hall scene in 1994. What are the changes versus 1994 to 2004? <laughs> major, major changes. Major. That's a, that's a very interesting question. Dance hall, dance hall now is, is changed tremendously from fun. Fun's actually now from when you used to be just fun and having a good time to now, you know, are basically investment. It's all about the collateral gain that you could get from a dance now. I mean, I, I personally think that's what promoters are doing now, mm -hmm. compared to when it was just, you know what I mean, having a good time, having a celebration, and just, you know, having family and friends, and especially in America, just having family and friends come out and have a good time, enjoying our music, enjoying our culture, mm -hmm. and look forward to the next event. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, so now it's, it's, it's now where like five, six parties going on, and it's like, you know, you're running all over the place. You know, I don't see the fun in it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Comes like a work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because now it's a business. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it's all about the financial gain. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, so that's what it is actually. Where do you see dance hall, like dance hall, the community, and dance hall music? Two questions in one. Going now. Where do you see it heading? Well, the music, the music is always there, and the music is always enjoying. As for the people now, I think what it is now is that I think most people now get a regular dance on CD and just play it inside the house. With family and friends have a better time than actually going out. You know, and I've seen that like most people you go to their house there, you know what I mean? They have a bunch of CDs but they don't come out. And you know, you're sitting here you ask yourself why? You know, and actually look at it. 
But how much we're going to do a safe survey now? How much people is in, in Jamaica? The population of Jamaica is 2.5, 2.8 million people. And there's this crazy number of people in America, millions of people, right? So America is a wider market. But when there's a dance on party going on, there's like 500, 600 people or more, you know, on a good event. But what it is now is that the people got to allow, you know, if, you, if you're the dance hall scene now or the dance hall where you want to create an environment where people come and listen to music and have a good time rather than buying a CD and stay in their house. You know, the people got to create that environment, you know, rather than, you know, just trying to basically fight each other or, you know, hustle each other out of their pocket money. You know, people got to create a scene where people just come and have a good time regardless if it's, you know, monetary gain or not. So that's what I'm seeing now is, it, it all depends on which area and which angle you look at it. It, it, it has a lot of negatives to it and it has a lot of positives to it. So tell me the negatives and the positives. The negative to dance or now is that the people, the people who created the music, and I'm again, I'm gonna say that the people, Jamaican people ourselves, they're actually losing control over the, the, the regular music itself. And you can see it. I mean, the people, the people in America are actually embracing and accepting the music. I think we just dance to it and have a good time with it and just let it go. <laughs> the people in America are actually capitalizing on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And how do you hone something and then let it get to get all the angles like that? It's like Bauxite. You know what I mean? Jamaica is known for, you know, tourism or Bauxite. And now we basically have nothing. We only have the regular music and that's going to. <laughs> yeah. if, if we don't be careful. I mean, so it's, it's, it, is, it, is, it is a topic for discussion. <laughs> it is a topic for discussion. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, well, speaking of the music and where it's going, did you watch the Vibe, Vibe Awards? You know, yeah. I, that, that's a sore spot with me right now, mm -hmm. especially with the, the Caribbean category they had and how Kevin Little won over Ellie and um, Beanie Man. Mm -hmm. Did you watch it? What did you think about it if you did see it? But, you know what? Um, what it is is that the music, the music from the Caribbean is not really channeled in a specific direction nowadays. So they don't know what it is basically, but they're still trying to sell it and market it. You know what? So that's that's a perfect example. There. They're trying to sell something and market it, but they don't know what it is. But we as Caribbean people, we have to, you know, we have to, we have to have control over what we do and what we put out, and tell people what it is. You know, so that's what happened to dance where people are just dancing and having a good time to it. Right then and there. But they don't know where it's going or where it can lead to. You know what I mean? Reggae is actually bigger than it ever is right now. You know what I mean? And then when you have quote unquote what is it? Soka or Yeah, Soka Clip. You know, it's in the spotlight. <coughs> a lot of people don't understand. It's a business. It's a business for America. You know what I mean? So when all they do is take up music from Caribbean and put it, you know? To make it uh, reggae music is the biggest music, so they say it's reggae. You know? Actually, no, we know it's not, you know, but they're just trying to market it as that. And it's, it's actually a marketing scheme. So would you feel that the artists are selling themselves out, selling themselves short, instead of saying, okay, well, instead of me grabbing this quick money real fast, let me sit them down and talk to them and tell them mm -hmm. the different categories and the, to distinguish Soka from Clipso? You know what? And what I realize about a lot of Jamaican artists or reggae artists or Caribbean artists itself, they they need they need a team. And in America the artists, you have a publicist, you have a manager, you have people who's gonna put things out there. The artist should just make music. That's what his artist is supposed to do. You know what I mean? So the artist now is actually again it's about money. You know what I mean? And compared to the money that they could get. The money that they're selling for is way, way a fraction of what they could get. But they don't know that because, again, it's ignorance or the people that they're associated with. It's all, you know what I mean? It's, it's what you call now the person that grabs the most, gets the least. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is because, you know what I mean? You're actually showing something on a plate that this is what you can have, but actually you can, you know what I mean? You can plant a tree and have all the fruit and then just have food given to you. You know, so that what it is. It's like... The artists need, the need, the artists need to be taught and they need to be aware of, you know what I mean? That's the process and the good process and it's a time process you go through to reap what you, you know what I mean, what you're sowing. 
and you know what I mean again you can't really blame the artists but they you know you need to the people that they're associated with are the people that's around them they just need to have an organization that's gonna market them rather than black market them because <laughs> that's basically what it is you know what I mean it's you know it's first it's hard to sell them you know what I mean you know you get you get you know whatever the check is for you at that time and you have no control of that when it's marketed worldwide you know what I mean? So you're actually, you're actually selling yourself short. Well, yeah, good point on that one. My thing that I have with the artists is they are quick to do main shows like Grammys, Vibes, um, or, or do a concert for Hot 97 for free. That when I, um, a Jamaican promoter or, or um, yeah, promoter or person who wants to keep a party, they want to charge them an arm and a leg. They want to charge $15,000 to come over and, and do a, sh a show within the community. You see, and that, that's what I'm trying to get at. The artist got to, you see the team, sometimes you can't really name the artist, but he has to have a team and he has to have people behind him who's gonna organize these things for artists should just appear a show, you know what I mean? And especially now that it's, it's all about financial need, and you have to be careful, right? I understand what you're saying, but I, but I, I wouldn't say, I disagree, but I disagree to a certain extent. What it is, is especially like, you know, I'm kind of new to the industry, but I'm getting a lot of openings and I know, you know what I mean? I'm kind of, you know, get a little familiar now with the industry stuff. So industry is, it's actually a marketing strike. Like, if you come and, you know, you perform a show for me free, you're getting earplay, you're getting, um, you know, people to be knowing about you more. And you have to understand it. In America, it's an American, dominated society. So as a regular artist, you're given the opportunity to basically perform free. It's actually, you're actually, you're actually doing yourself a favor. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But what they do now in return, they want to hustle a person and quote unquote a promoter doing a show. When they don't understand, the artist has no marketing skills, especially in America, because they're not in America. You know what I mean? And again, your team behind you is just what's going to make it. You know what I mean? When you look at, say, a Sean Paul or a Shaggy, have you seen them perform lately? No. Have you ever seen them on a show? No. But uh, these guys are people who have good management teams. and have people who have signed contracts with people and you don't even see them. You don't even hear about them. But you know what? They're actually being paid more than the artists that go around and get shows right now. And I can tell you that. You know, so now, now it's... That the business again is becomes it becomes a, a monetary value. So it's when you know they say money rules are all evil. Well, um, they're saying that that dance hall is is a hustle, um, tax free dollars. Mm. You know that that's the latest thing that's mm. the newest hustle. Mm. You know. <laughs> what do you think about that? That tax statement. Free? There? When you when you say when you say tax free in America and. Nothing in America is free. You know, I mean, Uncle Sam let you know that when you're in America, there are certain rules, there are certain rules and there are certain regulations you have to go to. And that's what makes America, America. And that's why me and you are able to be in America right now. Because America has rules and America has certain things and certain needs to be taken care of. You know what I mean? And without, you know, without taxes, they can't take care of you. So if a person is going to say, um, it's tax free dollars, then that, you know, that's a whole different story. Uncle Sam has to get his, and I totally agree with that. You know, America has so many resources for you to use, and that's taxes will pay for it. So I'm totally in agreement with, you know, mm -hmm. Uncle Sam getting his tax. Basically, I'm totally in agreement with that. You know, you mentioned that um, you're new in the industry and you're, you're seeing things from a different perspective. What are you doing now? You know, yeah, well, right now I'm doing. You know, I'm doing. A lot of groundwork basically. I'm doing doing a lot of groundwork. I since I've been, you know, quote unquote in the limelight so much. You know, I'm, I'm more doing I wonder I'm, right now I'm in the process of doing a lot of production work. You know, so I'm trying to find out the ins and outs. Just like I did with a stock You know, you have to you have to know what the route is before you can just jump and follow what you see. Because that's all now is an illusion. You know what I mean? It's more to what you see. You know what I mean? So right now I'm doing a lot of, you know, groundwork. I want to, you know what I mean? I want to be able to, you know, a promotion team, 
All of that is in the makings, actually. I mean, don't want to sign myself, but you know, I'm more, all of that is in the work. And it's right now, it's about doing, not saying you're doing or act like you're doing. You know what I mean? So, right now, it's about doing, doing the real, you know, necessary things to make dance hall or capitalize on dance hall how it should be capitalized on. You know what I mean? And putting back that money in Jamaica or into dance hall itself. But you still need the people, organization and the people to be educated on that. You know what I mean? Then when you when you hustle dance hall now right now, you're actually selling yourself short. So a lot of people think they're gaining or they just, you know, you keep a dance and that. Yeah, that's all fun and good, but you, there's a lot of more things you could do to generate, you know, more out of dance hall. And I'm to a and the gears where she in a work from Bird of Cavalli She roll like the bass where in a dead in the valley Me and a Rafi who come here and a Rafi Pali She can see if she a chicken and the head from the body And see if she don't make me get up in a the body If she easy and a run the catty pan everybody That means that we no feature, we no fit on But if she solid as a rock and she a do it properly Tell me now, let's fire out on me a go white Pali Me and a in a the batik and a bull up the cali Carry a go look a wedding dress, blow man a pali This remind me of the movie when I will make Sally Give me joy like a toy, feel like a boy with a dolly Me and a in a the is a nerd Benjamin's in a palm bring in My baby you have a band bling in So just follow the conscience we live with him I know each my girl just live with him Y'all go back in the That body with him, this not the world. Time time. See me as still be a day. Oh, yes. It's all about a link up. You see me as a you can't tell me what you're not doing. You see me? Sure, sure. But when the fight still, you can't too free my heart and my girl, them car. You can just know say, from car till you read it. You see me as a man, this to you. Give me the bats, let me kick the bats. Let the money with the D with the T. Bats, me. Give you the sass, let me give you the sass. Sell black, give you the flex, let's. Have a party, come real with us Like you up a Scotia, you're safe with us If you get the rock in the Gemini Remember said the baby have a rule in the Aquarius Young bull, like in a villa 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 
girl good. You know for that. Girl you get. Officer. If you not show. Cut it down. And you give it. And you go sit by girl. You come at me if you no want to gym. Don't some other loose man if you no want no team. Yo. Man a gangster we band to gain. When you call, me give you some warm rubbing. Benjamin's in a palm bring in. My baby have a band bring in. So just follow the conscience we live with him. I know each give we live. So cute, there's a season for this But the killing and shooting, there's no reason for this Love, the whole world bleeding for this Hate and grudge have them bleeding Watch it, watch it, it's the most accurate, the heaven I'm the earth for What you want, you must go and search for Don't you know it's wrong to rabble what you rather work for Ask for what you want, I'm the first one Don't fight against your brother No, no, no way Don't fight against your sisters And I got put in no way Don't fight against your brother No, no, no way so what you got to leave? You got to leave your life. So what you got to leave? You got to leave your life. Still the man man. Now do the dog now. Still the man man. Them no love it and them see you break through. Never see you when you tough it out and scrape through. Father God a protect with straight through. Try stop with you good and rub out your red shoe. We no argue now. We take two to chase your face. You put the bitch at you. Vampire your heart will go on a and that was a scene from Luna Bell's pajama party up in the Bronx. Like it was getting wild and crazy out there. So I'm back here with Mr. Outstanding. You know, what is some advice you would give to people in the dance hall that's, you know, keeping parties and things like that? People keep parties. Like people should just keep parties for, you know, just have a good time and share. Like parties should be about fun family and friends having a good time with each other and enjoying each other's company. That's what parties should be. Rather than people trying to basically hustle each other to get what they could get out of their pockets. So that's basically what it is. And you know, I'm actually speaking from experience. You know, um, that's what most what I think most quote unquote promoters do is try to hustle each other, trying to you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, just generate which which you could keep a party and gain the financial gain from it, but I don't think that's the main objective, you know. And people, I guess people don't realize that, but, you know, how do you go go around everybody party and pay your money basically to go in and expect them to come and give you back the money that you paid to wear them? That's basically it. So it's actually, you know what I mean, like, like a social or something like you give your money the whole lot until you come back. And, you know, eventually, if you don't come, I get upset. Or somebody get upset if I don't come. You know, so it's just people should just have a good time. Always, what it is again is, <clears throat> I think the dance hall is not open to everybody. It's too much who is who and too much people is becoming one on one with the dance hall scene. So people who want to come in, people who want to, not a nationality, other people from other race, other culture want to come in and enjoy. But they, they, I don't think they feel accepted when they're coming there. You know what I mean? But, you know, again, it's just, it's just, it's just how our person does what he do or she does. It's just, you know, just, it's, you should just open it up to other people come and share the love and enjoy. It. You know, that's that's what dance all is about. It's about fun and enjoyment. So, where do you see it ten years from now, if it hasn't changed, and where do you see it ten years from now if it does change? Dance all, dance all is always all that it's up to now. It's always gonna be it, but you know, again, regular right now is. As it, as it, you know, big so far. And if the people open it up, as I said, just open it, it will even get bigger. If they don't, it's going to be the same as it. If they enclose it more, it's going to get smaller. So that's what it is. It's like, you know, my, my suggestion is the open dance hall, people, it's, it's, it's going to be a bigger, and you know, it's, it's, it could just be great. I feel, I feel fun listening to music, you know what I mean? Just meeting people and, you know, having a good time. You know, and again, you know, if, if if something is not fun, people people are gonna be there for so long. You know I mean, if it's not enjoyable, people people is, is gonna eventually you know, push away. Just like everything else, you know. And and.
You know, if, again, as I say, you know, if I keep repeating myself, if, even if it's not about fun, having a good time, people is not going to go. Or people are just going to exchange, you know, funds against each other and, you know, for the each and every other person event. And that's what it's all going to be about, you know, the exchange of funds, you know. And a lot of people don't, and a lot of people don't understand. That's all is generating a lot of income. To keep a dance, you have to go through. The venue you have to go to, the liquor sales and everything, and you know what I mean? The clothes, merchandise that person buys away the party. And a lot of people don't know that all these things could, you know, when 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 you're making certain things happen, for example, let's say we're going on like more than that, more than the biggest, you know, alcohol consumption and dance law itself. You know? When when a dance or in a party you trigger a poor party and you can say like quote unquote like a hundred bottles of more. You have to be doing more company itself, you know, generating a lot of rent revenue. And there's ways if you know the ways and legitimate ways for you. If you could make um with generate so much at one event, you can be compensated for that. You know what I mean? But a lot of people don't know the logistics of, you know what I mean, doing certain things legitimately again. You know, so again it's just, you know, it's, it's all about learning and you know what I mean? Knowing what, what actually is right and you know what I mean? rather than going short the shortcuts. <laughs> you know, again it's just you know that's only just hustling you see you see him not my sister. You know what I mean? That that you see around the corner, that's what that's what it is. You know what I mean? And that's what it's going to. If, if if you know if you don't really change the path right now, that's what it's gonna go to. But you know, it's still like having fun, it's still like being a man, still like having a good time. And that's that's what we do. <laughs> True. Thank you so much, Neil. Thank you for coming on the show. Hopefully, I can have you back on soon. Mm -hmm. We can talk more. You can tell us, you know, where's Neil at? Where can we find Neil? All right. Yeah, we have a, we have a, we have a few things going on, you know. Right now, we have, we have certain things going on, you know. People gonna hear eventually, but you know, we just we wanna do things legitimately and do it, you know what I mean? On a on, on a on a level now where it is, it's worthwhile being rather than just you know. You know, I mean, one more thing I want to touch on before I leave, and you know, it's it's your guys' program, like the program you guys are having now. That's that's a stepping stone, and that's what I like to see, and that's one of the reasons why I'm here. Um, we want to see programs like this. We want to see, you know, people. We feel like to dance or let people, other people see. It, you know what I mean? But when they see it and they come, I want you to accept them. You know what I mean? You guys program go on cable, and there's a lot of people watching. So when these people watch it, they can see something that they want to be a part of. And then that's going to generate people to come out and enjoy the music even more. And people not too familiar with reggae music or know where the next event is at. They are, you invite you guys giving that information. And then when you guys give that information, people come and have a good time and enjoy it and embrace it. You know, so we need to see program like this and, you know, again, you know, that's one of the reasons I'm here. Well, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. And that's Mr. Outstanding, Neil Pearl. I'm going to take a moment. The show is coming to an end. I'm going to take, a, have moment to take a moment to pay my respect to Blondie Dion, who passed away recently. She's gone, but she won't be forgotten. We lost a great sister, and this goes out to her. May you rest in peace, Blondie Dion. You sure you miss, but she won't be forgotten. Bye. Yo, Channel 35, yes, at the Style TV, yeah, 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 yeah. Bless the love box of hype. That's last year's Almighty, you see. Tell them I do not bring no guns, come to town, yeah. A Style TV, say, lift that at home. You better bring love, come to town, yeah. I say, spread the joy around. Not taking from St. Thomas. I'm the man from the east. Japan, I'm a reggae singer. Now respect Styles TV. 
style of TV. Yeah, man, this is the king of fire. Get the fire burn, wow, wow. Like TV, you can't cool. The lemon can't cool. The lemon can't cool. Please, you're the king of fire.